Hey everyone, my name is Rhonda Robson and welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to expand from what I did last time and show you another pendulum with dots. I'm so loving this. All right, well, let's get started. All I'm gonna do is in fast mode here, I'm gonna show you how I took a painting that I had some cracks in it and I didn't like the results. So I'm just going to take this gray paint that I did on the last painting, in fact, and I'm gonna put it over top of this. So it is Amsterdam white paint with a little bit of Amsterdam black paint to make it the gray. And then it's thicker, so I don't have a lot of water in that. And then I'm just going to keep this texture because the below texture cracks. So I just kinda wanna have a little bit of a different texture on top. So that's all I'm doing right now to get me set up for this pendulum and this pendulum that I'm planning on doing is going to be a metallic uh, charcoal gray what I did was I took the charcoal gray and I added a little bit of iridescent medium to it and that worked really well so um, I'm just finishing up doing the sides here getting them ready so that that way it can dry like this and then my hope was to do a straight pendulum without the dots so you're going to see me kind of talk through how I was going to try to make it straight and it ended up being dots so it looks amazing and I love it. I can't wait to show you. Okay, so I've got my um, pendulum all set up again and uh, it. I think the hole wasn't thick enough last time. So I tried to make the hole a little bit thicker on this cup, but we'll see. So I've got this all centered. Um, so what you're going to need is you're going to have to find your center. So I made sure that I used my measuring tape. I also, you also want to make sure that you are level. So you use a level. This is an ankle weight and that's what I use because these things inside here are weighted and it helps with your pendulum. And then I need to make sure that I find my center. That's the big thing. Um, especially if you want it to be in the center. If you want it to be an off-center one, that's good. So here is how I do that is I use a chain and then I use my measuring tape. And then I just need to put my apparatus, which happens to be an ankle weight um, that I have just on a fishing, um, not a lure, but um, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I am sorry, uh, those of you who know what this is. I don't know, it, but it, it's nice because it spins, um, not with just using the threads, right? So that is nice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my bucket underneath. I'm gonna put my cup in. It's already got the tape on it at the bottom. Get that in there nice and level. Okay, and then let's go ahead and put, and I actually put uh, iridescent medium in this just to make it a little sparkly. So we'll see. It might have also been that I didn't have enough weight of paint, so I've added a little bit more paint to this one as well. The thing about pendulums, they're pretty tricky. They really are. So, all right, let's go ahead and get, oops. I don't want that to slide down. Peel the tape off. Okay, that's a steady stream this time. Working well. Okay, off to the side. And then just gently start your swing. Now we're just going to have a few dots, and then I think it's going to get started, I hope. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be the dots again. And then I will just have to make another one with dots in the background. I think I'll just let this kind of go all the way into the center.
One thing about it, it'll be random, sort of. Dots everywhere. Except for in the thicker areas that you have more dots in. I've actually never had a problem with dots before. So, it has to be, the only thing that I changed today was the cup. So it has to be the cup. I have to make the hole larger. Actually, this is looking kind of cool. I'm gonna keep it going. kind of wish that I kept it going earlier. It's going to very much define that center. My dog's off to the side making noises. Right, Bailey? Okay, I think that's about all I'm going to do on that one. I'm going to capture it this way. I'm going to find my bucket. It's over here on my bucket. Gonna move this out of the way. Oops. Bring my bucket right directly underneath. And then, do I have my tape? I might just put my tape underneath it. Like save the paint. Okay, so not bad, not horrible. Um, you know, when I started getting the dots, I was like, oh no, not again. But I actually think that that'll look cool. And because pendulums are so much fun to watch, I decided to show you a second angle of the exact same thing. Okay, so here it is. It actually looks kind of cool. I don't know, I may not do anything with it. I may have to do more dots. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll see how this looks when it's dried. Okay, so here are the results from my first pendulum with dots. And it actually looks kind of cool. I wish I would have gone a little bit longer because I did that one with this one. And look at the difference. So I went a little longer with the dots and I got that center just a little bit more defined. This one over here is still kind of too um, not.
it's just not defined as much as. So this is the same thing. You can see that there was some texture. You can kind of see that. Um, even some cracking behind there. So I painted it this gray. It's, it is a gray color. And uh, then I did a pendulum on top of that. And I like this one a lot. And so my plan is on this one is to uh, do resin on top of that to make it glossy. Uh, so that you can see all the texture in there because that's the great thing about gloss is that, that it gives you that depth and that texture. So you can kind of see that I use just plain black um, or charcoal gray actually on this one. It's charcoal gray. Um, but I added a little bit of iridescent to this one and you can see, you can see the iridescent there. That's why I want to do a um, resin on the top of so you go from looking at this blue and it looks like a mess and then you kind of come pull back. That's super cool. Um, so yeah, so that is the results. And my favorite is that one right there. Thanks for joining me today, and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. And if you like this video, I bet you're going to like these as well. Thanks a lot, and have a great day. Bye! Bye!